Welcome back to another episode of Android Application Development Tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about how to working with context menus in Android applications. So a context menu will appear whenever user perform a long click on a view item. So by usually the context menu is always using with some some list items like list view or grid view. But you can use the context menus with any view components in an Android application. You can use the context menus in two ways. First one is you can use the context menu as a floating menu. So you can see here this is some screenshot of using context menus. So this is the first type of context menu. You can use the context menu as a float as a uh, floating context menu. This is a floating menu like a dialog dialog box. So whenever user perform a long click on any of these list items this menu will appear and the second type of context menu is the context contextual action bar that means whenever user perform a long click on any of these view components this action bar will appear the basic difference between the two these two types of context menu is that by using a floating context menu you can change the properties of one view component at a time so by using a floating point context menu you can modify the properties of a one view component but by using a contextual action bar you can modify the properties of more than one view components in, in that particular list on any activity so that is the difference between a floating context menu and a contextual action bar Okay, so now in this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a floating context menu. So for that, open your developing environment. Here I'm using Eclipse. So I already create a new Android project for working with context menu. So the first step we have to create the layout for our context menu. So go to the resource folder and create a new folder. Create a new folder. And it comes under the resource folder and I name it as menu. And click finish. Now we got a new folder under the resource folder. Now we have to create a separate XML file for, for the menu. So right click this folder and create a new Android XML file and I name it as context context menu layout context menu layout and we got the root element here menu and click finish okay now here I got an XML file with root element menu now here I am going to add the first item on this menu using item tag we need to provide an ID for this item Android ID plus ID uh, option option one option one okay and now we need to provide a title for this item Android title option one okay now I'm going to add another item here with ID option 2 and title option 2. Now I need one more item. It is option 3 and title option 3. Okay. Now for working with context menu, we have to create some view components on the activity main.xml file. So here I am going to add some text view on this. Usually the context menu is used to working with list view or grid view. But you can use the context menu with any view components. So here I am going to use two text view to working with context menu. So I add the first text view here. Text view with ID Android ID plus id this is txt1 okay now we have to set the layout for this text view android layout 
with uh, with this match parent now provide height of this text view android layout height height is wrap content okay now provide a text for this android text long long click me okay now align this at center using gravity android gravity center okay now i add a text view and here it is okay i add one more text view with id txt2 and match parent height wrap content and long click me text align it at center and we have to align at the middle of the first text view so android layout below plus id uh, text to one so we can display that second text view below the first first text view so we got it long click maybe got two text view okay so now i need to display the context menu whenever user make a user perform a long click on any of these two text view so for that we have to register the the view components to to the context menu so here first here i need the object of that two text view so i create an object of text view here text view tx1 and tx2 okay now we need to initialize these two, two text view tx1 equal to find find view pi id download id dot txt1 so second one tx2 equal to find view pi id download id dot tx2 ok these are two objects so you need to cast it into corresponding class here the class is text view ok now for the first step for using context menu with these two view components is you have to register these two components with the context menu so for that you can use a method called register register for context menu so first first view components is txc1 so that means we register the first text view with the context menu and so we need to register the second one also register for context menu txt2 okay now we add the two view components <coughs> available for context menu that means whenever user perform a long click on any of these text view a context floating menu will appear okay now we need to inflate that particular menu xml file we create the layout for the menu on the menu folder with the layout name context menu layout now you need to inflate that particular menu xml file for that you have to override a method called on create context menu so you need to override this method on create context menu okay here you got three arguments context menu object a view object and context menu info object okay so we first we call the super class and now you need to inflate that particular xml menu resource for that we you need to create an object of menu inflator class menu inflator i name the object as inflator equal to use the method get menu inflator okay now you need to inflate that particular menu xml file using the inflator object inflator dot use this method inflate and provide that menu resource and r dot it is available on menu folder so r dot menu dot uh, our xml file name is context menu layout so use that one also you need to pass an object of context menu here because the menu type here use this a context menu so we pass 
the menu object as second argument. Okay, that's it. Now you successfully code the context menu. We can check it out the application. So now I'm going to run the application. Before I need to, I need to run my emulator. Okay, now I'm going to run this application. Run us Android application application and open emulator okay we got the project on emulator so here is the two text view now I'm going to perform a long click on the first text view here we got it the context menu will appear with the three options option 1 option 2 and option 3 I click one option there is nothing happens because we are not creating any methods for uh, handling the events and actions so we will discuss it in the next part so I'm going to click on the next item the second text view again we got the same context menu I hope you enjoyed this please try this now don't forget to subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates thank you for watching see you in the next part